Hey guys, it's Kai and welcome to my channel. And if you aren't new, welcome back to my channel. I wanted today's video to be a little more calm. I haven't done a video like this where I just sit in front of the camera and be myself in such a long time. Like a lot of my videos on my channel as of now are mostly themed. So I don't know, I just wanted to sit and like talk to you guys and tell you what's going on, what I've been doing. While I'm talking to you though, I'm going to be taking out my hair. I'm going to be literally redoing my hair. But yeah, that's it. So basically for today's video, I'm going to be sitting down, talking to you guys about what's on my mind or whatever, and I'm gonna do my hair. So I actually cut this because I was getting so sick of it. I've had these in for so long, but I redo them a lot and I wash it a lot. So it always looks brand new to be honest. <laughs> I really haven't done a video like this in so long. I've been like working. Like, as of now, I'm literally balancing work, school, and my portfolio, which is crazy. This is gonna take a long time. I have this bag here to put the hair in. There's a store in, um, I don't know where it is, but it's like one of the only black stores where I live that sell hair. The hair is a Okay, like hair in the US is the best quality, especially those Bangladeshi stores, like the Indian owned stores and the Chinese owned stores, they have the best hair quality, especially for extensions. But, and then I found out, cause I thought, I wasn't sure if it was the hair that I use is real or not, but turns out it's actually real, like it's a blend of real and synthetic hair. The quality is so good, it's so soft and you can put heat on it. I was talking to my friend Shaza and I was saying that like, oh yeah, like this hair is real. And she was like, you can't use real hair for extensions. I was like, oh my gosh. Like she was like, it's and I was like, Oh, I had no idea, like the more you learn, honestly. Like, I forgot what the company of these are. I'll like put it on the screen somewhere. The hair company that I use, I think it's called Realism. It's honestly so hard to find and they only deliver in the US. In order to do the hairstyle I'm doing now, I need at least three packs of that hair. With this hair, I only need like two packs because the bundles are a lot smaller. This hairstyle now, I literally did this all in 15 hours of one day and I'm absolutely never doing that again because I almost died. I'm not even exaggerating right now. Oh, you know, it's actually easier to use a needle at the end so I don't have to like, you know, but I'm too lazy to get it. The way that I've been braiding recently, like from the root is a lot different. Like I braid my natural hair first, then I put the extension in. It won't get trashy that fast, but it also results in looking a lot more natural. Like it literally looks more believably natural rather than starting from the root and then just immediately braiding with the extension. I don't know if it's grown much, I'm literally wearing a black shirt, so you can't even see the difference, but. Last one, ay, ay. And then I'm gonna go wash. The wash is gonna take so long. Oh, my edges are growing back, guys. Like, it's an inch long. Like, my edges were so short. They were this length. The new gel that I was, I'm using now, it actually doesn't stop my edges from breaking. The other gel, I'll show a picture. My friend Layla, you guys know Layla. She uses it. That gel is so good. It holds my edges in place. The only problem is I feel like it's only good in cold climates. Like here, I go outside and it just melts and it sits on my forehead. And that girl, like I already have a new pimple. I don't, I don't need gel on my face. Maybe I can find a video of how well the edges sit in place. It looks so good. But yeah, that's the problem. I'm looking for a gel that sits in place and doesn't melt. Cause the purple gel literally melts. I just need gel for thick hair that doesn't eat my edges and doesn't melt. Like, can we, can we find a remedy, please? Please, oh, we'll come back after the wash and then I'll start doing my hair. It's gonna be dark, it's gonna be different lighting, but you're going to deal with it. <laughs> hey. My bathroom is a little small, so I'm so sorry about the angles. This segment is gonna be too long because honestly, I'm trying to get this part done as fast as I can, but I'm just gonna show you the projects that I use and the order that I'm gonna go in. So first, we're gonna go in with this Herbal Essence Coconut Shampoo. It's not just for straight hair, it's for a wide variety of hair types. Like after I shampoo it like a good three times, 
works. I use this Herbal Essence Conditioner. I use this Tijin hair mask and it says to like keep it in your hair for 10 to 15 minutes, but honestly I do 30 minutes because I have the care and it needs to absorb it all. You know, like I need to get the best out of this mask. And um, the last thing is, I know, okay, I know you're probably thinking, ew, why is it separated? It looks like pee pee. But no, like it's literally rice water, but rice water has a very strong smell. So my mom, she puts essential oil in it. This is what I use. After the hair mask and after the hair mask, I wash out my hair. I just spray this in, keep it in for a little while. You can keep it in for a few days, but in this case, I'm not going to because I need to finish my hair and I don't want to wash after redoing it brand new. So I'm just going to spray this in, keep it in for like 30 minutes and wash it out. After the shampoo, the conditioner, the hair mask and the rice water, I finally go in with this, the Shea Moisture Detangler. Honestly, this is the one of their only products that have worked with my hair type. All right, let's start the wash. The wash. Bang, bang, bang. Okay, goodbye. I'm literally wasting time. <laughs> part my hair and to make it easier I start from the back usually okay <laughs> oh my gosh now that they're parted we're going to wash them in sections I'm not gonna comb I'm gonna use my fingers and like detangle because we're trying to like minimize the breakage so I use my fingers to detangle. I'll be done showing this segment because it's gonna take too long. But I'll show you the in-between, like the relevant parts. See you later. See, see you later. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so like, can you see the emotional drain in my eyes? Anyway, oh my God, I kind of look like Toad. So, yeah, I was going to do the hair mask, but then I decided not to because I'm doing the rice water, so like whatever. To the left of me is the brightest studio light I have ever encountered. Anyway, so I finished washing, conditioning, putting rice water in, and the last thing I had to do is detangle with my detangle brush and my detangler. After this, I can finally start the braiding process. Um, just parting section, like you see how back here, it doesn't really matter. Here is the most important, in my opinion. You no, know, if the part goes down the middle of the head, like you're gonna see the part in the hair. Unless you're doing box braids, like that doesn't really matter. But in my case, I'm not doing that. So the part is only really necessary in the front. And I kinda got it already. I'm gonna fix this part. I don't know if I can do it properly in here. I might have to go to my mirror. I usually ask my mom to do this section, like part my hair, but I need to learn how to do it on my own without asking mom. Uh, I forgot to mention that I'm also using this moisturizer. I'm not using cream because they're not braids. And the, the hair cream I use is actually called Jamaican Lock Cream. It smells so good. I'm not gonna use that now because since I just washed it, I want to delay the product buildup because it is a hassle and especially because of how frequent it happens for me. So I'm going to avoid that by just using my light creams that have similar effect. I feel like I washed my hair pretty well this time. I think I'm gonna start from the back. So you guys are gonna be seeing this for quite a while. It's giving nothing. <laughs> it's giving crack house. I probably shouldn't associate natural hair with crack house. L let's not get canceled on YouTube. I mean, if you going for the Basquiat aesthetic, be my guest. Okay, I'm gonna part this like this. I'm like making sure I'm getting the ends specifically because I don't want the ends to break when I'm combing it out and that it receives the proper moisture that it needs. I'm really trying to stop this breaking, y'all. Like, the T-Gen actually helps, but sis, 
I don't know what's going on, bro. Since I'm tired and it's already 12, it's been an hour since I did all the sections. I'm just gonna show you the hair that I'll use, do the back row, and then tomorrow I'll finish the rest because I want to sleep. Like, I'm literally so tired. This one is called Realistic, and it's by Bio, Bio, Biwa. What? Bi Biwa. What? <laughs> I think it's Biwa or B. Whoa, I'm so sorry. I literally do not speak French. But yeah, this is what I use. It's not 100% human hair, it's a blend. The quality is really good, to be honest. Like, it feels like real hair, my guy. Oh, it's 24 inches. So to, I should actually be using this for the back because the back should be longer. Because this one is 18 inches and this is 24, so the front is literally gonna be longer than the back. The next company I use is called Lulutress. This is the one that I was talking about earlier today that I got at the hair store where I live. Basically, this one is darker, like this one's black. The way I'm just showing hair casually, it's so weird. You may not be able to see the difference, which is a good thing, but this one is 1B and this one is 1. Oh my god, the quality is so good. It literally feels like my hair. The difference between this, my mom was saying, is that the ends, they twirl. This is such a bad example. But you see how these ends just stop, right? Like, it's not very realistic. Well, these kind of like swirl to the end, which leaves more of a realistic effect. Let me, I'm doing too much talking, but not enough doing. Anyway, I'm gonna watch Psyche. I literally never finished watching the show, and I just realized that so we're watching Psyche. Oh my gosh, my hair fits in a ponytail? Hold on, false news. False news. This is literally what I do to see. This mirror, that is so embarrassing. Let me, let me clean it with my titty chow. I'm gonna do the last one and then I'll go to bed and then I will do the rest tomorrow and I'll film it. Hey, I'm so sorry. Like I literally did not film half of this, but it's cause my back was hurting and I was like, you know what? Let me just sit down and watch some Netflix. This light is like obnoxiously bright. Anyway, this is the last one I'm doing, but yeah, like I literally ran out of hair. There's a lot of pieces like this in the bundle that's so small that I'm gonna have to like switch out with other pieces. Oh wait, no, actually I can use some hair from this. I wanted to do four on each side. Oh my gosh, look at the part, it looks so... I literally need to redo the front of my head. I really do not like these. Like the way I parted these, it's so different from how I parted these. But it's literally because I ran out of hair. That is basically it for this video. Like, I hope you enjoyed. I thank you guys for being patient with me, with my uploads, because I've literally been so busy. I genuinely apologize. But yeah, thanks for supporting, and I will see you guys again soon. Bye.